Hi, and welcome back to Charged Up, the official podcast of your Colby Sawyer Chargers. My name is Dylan Flewelling, and I'll be turning it over to Leah Ranowska after a few quick weekly updates. On Saturday, the men's and women's track teams competed at the New England Regional Championships, where junior Ashley Kelleher broke her own school record in the 400 meter dash, stopping the clock in 59.5 seconds. The men's 4x400 and 4x800 meters also broke school records. Ski also competed this weekend at Lake Placid, New York in the EISA Ski Championships where they concluded their season. First year, Brendan Lintner was the top charger on the men's side and he narrowly missed the second run of the day. And on the women's side, senior Katie Rugru was the top charger, placing 45th and scoring six points for the team. For men's basketball, Omar Boone and Scott Lampron were both named to the third team all-conference, and Mike Juwanu was named to the all-sportsmanship team. And on the women's side, Marissa Holt was named third team all-conference, and Leah Ranowska was named to the all-sportsmanship team. We were fortunate enough to sit down with Sydney Stevens of the women's lacrosse team to discuss her hopes for the season. Take it away, Leah. Thanks, Steve Flew. I'm Lee Renoska, and welcome back to Charged Up. I'm joined by my roommate, Sydney Stevens, and her stick, Lexi. Would you want to introduce yourself to everyone at home that doesn't know you? Yeah, so my name is Sydney Stevens. I'm a senior attacker on the lacrosse team, um, and this is my stick, Lexi, and um, <laughs> we have a very close relationship, me and Lexi, and I don't like playing without her, but I broke her in the first week and then had to go get it fixed and then broke it again, but now she's back, so I haven't even actually played with her yet, but... Very excited. Strictly here for moral support. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, we're a package deal. So Understood. So speaking on being a lacrosse team, recently named captain, okay. congratulations. Thanks. You and Hannah Mark here are going to be leading the squad this year. And speaking of the squad, what's, what's the season looking like for you guys? Um, I think we're all very, very excited for this season, and we all have a lot of high hopes. Um, we all have a lot of high expectations. And we see ourselves doing very well on the field. And we also are like a great bunch to be around and everyone loves spending time together. And so it's just like lacrosse is just fun season for all of us, which is really great. So I'm excited to like do well and have fun with this group of people. There you go. Now, we don't know when the first game is going to happen because luckily, lucky for us, we live in snowy New England. But their overall point of view on the GNAC, how are you guys looking to do this year? Um, so we were ranked like sixth in the GNAC in the preseason poll, and I took a little bit of offense to that, if I'm going to be honest. We just recently tied Keene State, and they're ranked like third in the LEC. So um, I think that really showed that we are like, able to compete with these schools that um, have shown to be better in the past. So you say your lacrosse team's a super fun bunch to be around. How would you describe your lacrosse team in one word? <laughs> Rats. <laughs> Oh, no. For those of you who don't know, the lacrosse team here is obsessed with this rat they have named Cheese. I believe it is a he, him, Mr. Cheese. Um, and that is the mentality they go with. So basically, we are we are rats. Cheese is us. And we're mighty. And, and like, so I personally am not. Some of us are real small. And, like, so uh, cool, though. She is the biggest rat of us all. She is just gives rat energy. Rat energy, everyone. Rat energy. We're, we're going to move away from the topic of rat energy real quick. So something super exciting the lacrosse team is getting to do this spring is they're traveling to the Carolinas to play a couple of games. You want to talk to everybody about that opportunity and what's it going to look like for you guys? Um, so this is going to be really exciting. We leave for spring break. So normally we stay on campus and we get to play against like other schools in the GNAC and just basically hang out with the only lacrosse team here. But this year we get to go to South Carolina and we're staying in Hilton Heads and we get to stay in like three little houses and we get to cook food for us and it's going to be so much fun and we get to play lacrosse. We're playing like really good schools when we go down there, but it'll be a really great experience for us to be able to play against some good teams. And then we come back and immediately start playing some more GNAC games. So that'll be very exciting. There you go. So speaking on, back to you, personal goals for this season. What are you looking to accomplish? What are your hopes? Um, so I actually have, a, I have five goals for the season. Five. But we don't need to get into all of them. Um, a lot of it is uh, resilience and being a good leader for my teammates. And so not letting things affect me and 
continuing to be strong um, mentally and physically for not only myself, but for the lot of underclassmen that we have on our team. And to just be leading by example every day and try to build the program that I want to continue when I'm no longer a part of it. Nice. That was nice. Good Thanks. work. <laughs> and continuing on, um, a lot of people on your team, I shouldn't say a lot, but there are a handful of people on your team that are nursing majors and you yourself are public health. So with a team that has a lot of majors here, especially for a spring sport, what does practice look like for those who are looking to play like a spring sport in college? How does that affect your weekly schedule? How, how have you guys benefited from that? So our schedules um, are all sent to coach and she tries to make our practice schedules around them as much as possible. And we do have quite a bit of nursing majors on our team. So sometimes like Tuesdays and Thursday practices will look a little bit lighter and we won't have like our whole team there, but we do other things to try to like um, still keep the intensity up, even if there's only like 15 of us at practice. Um, but we do, she does a really good job of like working around our schedules and making sure that we're not too overwhelmed, which is good. Honestly, the weather's the biggest issue in our schedule is that we we don't get to play on Sally all the time. Sally's our field. And then <laughs> sometimes we have to come inside, which, but that's fine. We're getting better every day, even if we're inside. There's the correct mindset for you. So speaking on Emily, your head coach is Emily Dudney. Do you want to talk a little bit about what she's like as a coach and then your coaching staff around her? So Emily and Courtney are our coaches, and they're two of the best people I've ever met in my life. Um, Emily Dudney does a really good job of coaching people as a team and individually. So she's learned how I play and like what I need from her, and it's different from what she gives to the very next teammate on my team, which is good. Like She has personalized coaching abilities. And her expectations of us are always so high, but it's because she knows that we are capable of reaching those expectations. And if I ever fall short of them, like I know that she's still proud of me and loves me no matter what, which is always a great thing to have as a coach. Okay, final question I'm going to ask you here today. Looking back at first year Sydney, what's one piece of advice you would give her? Um, I would tell myself to answer Emily Dudney's email sooner and not be afraid to join the lacrosse team because it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Just do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lee Ranowska. This has been Sydney. And Take Lexi. it easy. And Lexi. Don't forget about Lexi. <laughs> Take it easy, everyone.